Hiya people, uh, quick note from Jamie Boyle here, author of the Sykes books. Um, obviously I did the, the first two in 2017, um, kind of went away from the, the Sykes projects, um, got involved with a, a few things like Lee Duffy, Roy, Roy Shaw, uh, Brian, Brian Cockrell, Dominic Negus, um, but I felt I owed Sykes um an ending obviously it was that book <clears throat> that book that started my interest um done unfinished further <clears throat> rob brenton done it sharks which is um my business partner or boss um or depending on what mood i'm in um and I just felt, I just felt like, you know, kind of, Paul Sykes has, has put me on the map, if you like. Um, and I just felt that the story really deserved an ending. Um, you know, a, a few people have asked me, said, said what, it, what is it about? Um, you know, the first, them, them books, you read them. Um, obviously, excuse me, Paul's was Sweet Agony, which is his words. That my my two were something like eighty plus people, um, and basically, final Sykes final agony is going to be my 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 words. Um, basically, be twenty chapters, and you know, from Paul being born to his dying day, um, I'm gonna talk. You know, I've certainly came across a lot of knowledge. Um, you know, I've sat down and I've you know I've been to visit. Paul Jr. I've sat and spoke with his wife for hours, stayed, for, stayed with a lovely lady um, for, for a few days. Um, Delroy showers, you know. I know what went on, Well, you know, the rape allegations, was he, wasn't he? Um, and I'm just going to give this full shebang. Um, you know, I've, I've got people who, you know, were as close to Paul as you can get, people like John Spensley, uh... You know, obviously Ronnie Trellfall, David Dunford have died, but you know, there's there's still there's quite a few that I am going to get and speak to. Um, but yeah, I ju I just felt basically there needed to be a Sykes fan lagony. Um, the film was due to start in September this year. Um, yeah, but Western Edge have said basically the best time for a film to to start now is basically the summer. So uh, we spoke with Western Edge about two, three weeks back, and they said obviously because of the COVID nineteen, we're going to leave it till next to the next summer. Now, um, yeah, that's good. There's a big budget for it. There's um, there's a guy, a big, big star playing Sykes. When that film takes off, it's going to be when Paul was forty three from nineteen eighty nine. The actor, uh, the actor who's probably due to play Sykes and I'll probably put my life on it, although it's not been signed. Um, he's about 41, 42, now 6 40. He's told me his practice Yorkshire accent and everything. So he'll, he'll actually be about 43 when it's um, when it goes, you know, but the, the script's been written. Um, it's going to start from 1989, Paul 43, basically the time of the, the Paul Sykes documentary. Um, he looks very much like him. He, he knows he's going to put the weight on. Um, he's got the books there for... I spoke to him last year when he was in Pantomime. He said he was working about 14 hour days, but he's going to keep the books for when he needs to play concentrated Sykes. Um, so it is going to happen, but obviously, I mean, we spoke to Vaughn Civil, who's the, the film director for this. And uh, he spoke with, well, like Rob Brenton. And he said, listen, th this is nothing. Sometimes films take years. But uh, it was due to start this year. It was going to be filmed in Wakefield, Leeds and Pontefract. But now it's going to be put back to um, next year. So 2021. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, I think I think that's then is when Paul Sykes' name will be up there. You know, if you're Charles Bronson's, you're, you know, how many, how many stars, you know, the Essex Boys, Paul Ferris, the Craze, um, you know. It's certainly going to be a multi-million pound film, so yeah, I think I can see it. You know, going to Leicester Square and all that. Um, but I'm on now with writing Sykes Fan Lagony. 
I'm going to be writing it May, June, proofreading it July, so it'll be out in August. And I think it was the least I could do. I think it was almost the least I owed the guy, you know. Um, yeah, he's kind of put me on the map in a, in a, in a big way. Um, and if I'd never seen the Paul Sykes documentary and if I'd never read Sweet Agony, I would never, ever, you know, um, I dare say I probably was obsessed a few, about eight years back. You know, all I wanted to do was just basically um, find out what happened to him. And um, for about three years, I tried and, you know, yes, you know, I, I, got, I used to inbox and, I, you know, I read I read all the stuff on um, the Wayfield Express. Um, I spoke to them this morning. Actually, they're going to run a story on Paul. They're going to phone me this week for the for the final book. But, you know, yes, I knew he died. Um, a tragic figure, you know, um, uh, a shadow of what he once was. But I was just like, how? How did that happen to someone so big in your face, immense, if you like? Um, and after I think it was about three years of kind of 2012, I watched it. I think about 2015, I just I was like, yeah, all my beer, and I just did it myself. So that I walked in and I met everyone. You know, I I describe it as like walking in, meeting the characters. You know, I walked in that sweet agony. I I met most of the characters. Um, you know, I've sat and had chats, you know, kids, Paul's sisters came to stay at my house, I've met his sons, um, you know, there's obviously people I can't mention as well, but um, I have I have a really good understanding of Paul so much that this book, I, you know, the knowledge, basically, I don't, I don't need to speak to anyone for, the, for this final book, it's basically just what's in my head. Um, so yeah, it's uh, Paul Sykes' final agony, it's on his way, and then I am really, really done with him. You know, um, do I think it's the end of Paul Sykes? No, not because there's going to be the film and there's also going to be the documentary. Um, in the documentary, there's probably going to be people in like Delroy Showers, John Spence. They're the people that we want in it. I've already spoken to them. Um, and listen, he's um, he was a character that, you know, isn't going to be forgot. You know, I know a lot of people in Wakefield kind of held me accountable, you know, because Paul, you know, the... the Basically, try and say I'm the guy. Listen, it's it's probably true. I, I've, I'm the guy who's come along and woke the ghost of Paul Sykes up. But you know, he's an interesting character, and um, one thing's for sure, Wakefield will never forget that man. Um, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know, all you guys in Wakefield. Listen, I'm 60, 70 miles away. You know, um, I love the place Wakefield. I've been there probably 20 times in the last couple of years. Um, you know, it's almost like an adopted little city for me. But uh, I do understand he raised um, high mixed emotions. Um, for as, as successful as my books have been on Paul Sykes, um, you know, and they've been sold all over Britain in the Waterstones. The one, the one bookshop who won't really entertain us is Wakefield's. Um, and I had a conversation with him and I was like, well, you know, why why, why are you not getting it? It's such a, a big book. They've been bestsellers. And uh, I got a very strange answer, but it's one I could understand. You know, it was like um, Paul had already been dead 10 years and it's now 13 years. Um, and they basically just said, listen, we remember when he was stood outside, when he was sat outside, abusing all the customers. Um, you know, just chasing cars. Um, yeah, and you know, not everyone gets him, and a lot of people have bad memories about him. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's a listen. It's nothing to do with me. All I'm, all I'm doing is kind of um, researching history, if you like, researching social history, and whether you like it or not, you know, when Paul Sykes died, it was an end of an era. Um, you know, it was an end of a generation, very much the same with Lee Duffy and Middlesbrough, which there's some other books I've done. But, um, yeah, it's uh, the book's happening, you know, and then the film is going to happen next year. And then um, I think it'll be really, really well known. But, you know, there's a lot to, there's a lot to, you know, certainly I haven't glamorised him because there's a lot to learn from Paul Sykes's life. You know, he's a man who could have had everything, but he died in the gutter. Um, he died 
under the stars with nothing. Um, and, you know, I called him a pathetic figure and I got a bit of abuse, abuse for that. I didn't mean it in the nasty sense. You know, if you if you Google what pathetic means, it means just like a, a sad, lonely, you know, kind of... And that's what he was. I mean, he, you know, he was sleeping on the streets, for God's sake. Um, you know, and the film will be tragic. This book's tragic because I'm going through his whole life. And, you know, when he was sleeping out of the back of... Yeah, you know, there's um, there's lots I'm going to put in this, which, I, you know, I never did because the other books were like other people's. But basically, this is mine. So keep following the page, guys. Paul Sykes on Facebook. There's also a, um, a Twitter page. And anyone who wants to me message me directly, Jamie Boyle, author, filmmaker. Um, I'm going to put this on YouTube. So, yeah, keep, keep following the page, guys. And Sykes for Final Agony is coming very soon.